You're getting a real sneak peek here, looking in on a rehearsal for the Pan Am opening ceremony. But it's top secret, so we don't want to ruin the surprise. So we'll turn away from that, and let me introduce you to the two men who are responsible for what promises to be a spectacular start to the games. Bastien, who is the show director, hello, hello. Hi. And also Jean Guibert, who is the creative director. Hello. hello to you. Thanks for taking a break from your work to talk to me. Well, thank you. Well, you're I know. welcome. I just said, I bet you do. I bet you do. You, I just said it was top secret, and I know it is, but can you tell us what's going on behind us here? Uh, we're hard at work on um, a set piece uh, towards the end of the show. Okay. That sort of speaks about the energy of youth uh, finding their way in life. Oh, nice. Yeah. Energy of youth. Well, that leads me to my next question, because I wanted to talk, so I don't blow the surprise for everyone, to talk in general about the kinds of things you're going to be doing. Because I know how important an opening ceremony is, setting the tone, telling a story. What's the story you're wanting to tell with your show? Um, it's kind of a universal story we're telling. Um, it really, it's a story of a life, basically, and all this journey we all have to go through to uh, become, you know, from kids to adults and from basically our early dreams to make them become reality. That's really the narration, basic narration of that story. And, uh, and all the steps and the encounters that we have, you know, that we meet on our path, basically, yeah. you know, and the way we can overcome them to become better humans and, uh, and achieve our dreams. Yeah. And athletes, too, overcoming exactly. to get here. Exactly. So is that how Cirque meets athletes or exactly. acrobatics yeah, meets athletics, it. really? It. It's, yeah. the same, it's the same sort of journey, right? Everybody who has uh, any kind of aspirations need to go through hurdles, obstacles, and find their way. Uh, it's true for athletes. It's true for our athletes, our acrobats mm -hmm. in the show. They've developed their aptitudes and now they're ready to perform on a world scale uh, level. It's true for us too, developing yeah. something, a vision, a dream, and bringing it to life on a, on a stage. So uh, it's, we feel it's a story that everybody can understand and relate to. That and exciting? through that, we're telling just the big story of their journey. We're honoring their journey by saying we understand that journey and we feel that journey too. Helping you tell the story today, in these days, is technology. And I know it's a big part of your shows, projections and set design. Without giving too much away, what will we see? What role will technology play? Um, well, that's the biggest set we've ever okay. had the, chan the chance to work with. Uh, it's so exciting, it's kind of I bet. Very, yeah. It's very exciting, but there will be technology, of course, because it's a big ceremony, but uh, human beings are at the heart of everything. Okay. Uh, like everything it's not we a, yeah, we didn't play really the game of, you know, the biggest screen on Earth, the uh, biggest fireworks on Earth. There will be, of course, there has to be. But uh, we are more interested in the movement, all the energy, the big movements we can do with these acrobatic, extreme sports, dance, hybrids that we've, like, uh, blended all together. And uh, we want to have the people in front of their TV and in the in the stadium be energized like never before. That's really yeah. the, the objective we have. Yeah, I'm okay. feeling that just yeah. talking so to you about it. transmission of emotion yeah. is, is, uh, is, is a, the paramount objective also. Just to get people to feel a journey without resorting to uh, dialogues. It's, you know, the, way, the way Cirque usually does it is just to, to get you inside uh, a metaphor for life. Right. Yeah. And it has to be visceral. That's really the objective, like something visceral. You are on your seat in the stadium, you are watching the show, but these story, these emotions, these movements, these actions, they have to awake something inside. And that's really what we're trying to, trying to achieve. The story, you say, is one of overcoming challenges. There are, I'm sure, enormous challenges in bringing a show, you said the biggest one yet, to the world. Really? I, <laughs> you, you had hair before you started uh, yes, this, Yes, I used right? to. I used to have hair, yeah, exactly. Now you're And I didn't. <laughs> yeah. So tell me a little bit about, I mean, these are these are as spontaneous as a Cape Canaveral launch, really, aren't no they beer. opening? Uh, no beer, I bet. They are, they are. The, the meticulous planning goes into this, military precision, is exactly. that a big challenge? Yeah. It is, but I, I, think, I think it's only fair that we put ourselves into the same situation the athletes uh, do you know when they go to the starting line they have one chance to run it and to accomplish what they they've set out to do and that's the same for us one so, shot yeah, yeah. We Friday created, night we've created this like big puzzle you know mm -hmm. like uh, things did, yeah. were created in Montreal things were created in Toronto things were inspired from things from uh, you know other corners of the world and we imagine these layers and finally in Toronto we assemble them 
And so far, so good. Actually, it's going very well, but you have to be super precise. It's about like any movement, any action, somebody running, somebody crossing, somebody cycling, and it has to work at the same time. So do you have contingencies in case all of those of precise yeah. details yeah. don't yeah. come Safety, on the night? Yeah. We're going on stage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <You're entertaining. laughs> we Here developed we a routine. No, safety, yeah. uh, safety is crucial. Yeah. Yeah, safety Perfect. is at the center of everything because we know th this show is involving a professional cast but mm -hmm. volunteers as well. So the cohabitation of the two at the same time, safety is at the heart of everything. Yeah. So it has to be transparent to people but for us I can tell you that every second the safety is like a paramount. thought. Yeah, it's paramount. You're bringing it all together, all those pieces, but you're only getting into the Rogers Center just, you know, days before the night. I guess I don't need to tell you that. I mean, some are rehearsing here and some are rehearsing there and you're pulling it all together. How, how difficult does that make it? It's, it's uh, well, it falls onto us to, to be able to put it all together in our minds before mm -hmm. we actually see it. But we have an extremely talented team who, who help us visualize all these different aspects before we actually put them together. So hopefully we minimize all the surprises or we get good ones. When it finally comes yeah. together, the surprise is better than, uh, than what we've imagined. Surprise. Isn't yes. that good? So everybody has a favorite moment of an opening ceremony. Do you have one from your own that you can share? When it's done. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a favorite? All the moments All are, the moments are yeah, great. Are. No, yeah, I, 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 liked, I like the moment when the athletes are honored. And, and yeah. this last boost that they have before they compete, to know that, that something has come together. For us, it was really important that it, it, it comes together for them. As much as possible, that they be as close to the show as possible and feel kinship to the story that we're telling. And I have a special thing for the torch. Mm. I like, uh, when it I like, I like the, but just, just the notion of bringing fire. Yeah. Oh. It's something very interesting. For it's, many people, the torch and then the lighting of the cauldron is a favorite moment of uh, any opening ceremony. Yeah. And I know that's a big secret, but is there anything we should know or anything you can give us a hint of at this point about that particular moment? Don't get too close. Yeah, don't get too close. No, I would say that... Uh, fire. Yeah. Likes fire. Don't get too close. Okay. I'm filing that away. I would say that the notion of fire um, might be even more central than it uh, used to be, okay. you know, in, uh, in ceremonies uh, cool. for many reasons. But uh, the fire plays a very important role in the overall story of the show. So it's not just about the cauldron, it's just about this inner fire that we have in us yeah. and this physical fire that we can see and follow as a guiding light, a pilot light. So it's a very central element in the show and that is going to take us from the beginning of the show to the end of the show. Basically. Yeah, we like, we like to you know, revisit this, this, this notion of fire that we've seen through all, all the ceremonies and, and get closer to, to what it means again. So, yeah. And the competitive fire for the athletes as well. For sure. You know, exactly. oh, I can't yeah. wait. All right, I'm gonna, the music's starting, so maybe they want you back in the rehearsal. Thank you for giving me the time. And it sounds, from everything you've told me, like it's just going to be of the caliber that has brought Silk fame around the world. I can't wait to see it. Best excited. of luck. Very, very excited. Thank, Thank you very, very much. Very, very Thank much. you.